despite all of the news that was released yesterday, there was still a bunch of stuff that kind of left us scratching our head. Uh, Ryan, I want to start with you on this one. What stood out to you in yesterday's webinar and what questions do you still have uh, surrounding the Pac-12 football season? Something you started off with, they're only, they fit the seven games into seven weeks. And that just, I would, I just find that crazy that that's all going to play out perfectly for them. Because as we've seen in other conferences, teams around college football have been postponing their games, moving them back. But it's been working for them because they have more wiggle room. But with the Pac-12, like what happens if, two teams miss their games. Like, what are they going to do? Because there's no time to fit them in because the season ends right before the college football playoffs and bowl season starts. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think another big thing that we kind of was wondering about is that we didn't have a schedule yet, right? I, I would have thought that an official schedule would have been coming out yesterday. I would have thought that the, you know, the conversations of bringing football back and the schedules would have gone hand to hand, but they did say uh, in yesterday's webinar that it was going to be released sometime this week or in the next couple of days at least. So um, at least we have that to, to cling on to. Um, I was also really, I had to laugh. Uh, I was also really surprised to see that the Pac-12 came out and said that this whole thing wasn't about the money. I mean, like, like come on, you don't, don't lie to us like that, right? Like, we know a huge reason why the Pac-12 is doing this whole thing is because of their TV deals, right? I mean... It was so funny. They went totally out of their way to to say that they weren't doing this for the money. Like before, any of the media had any chance to ask any questions. They they like made it an apparent thing that they had to say that we're not doing this for the money. So like, I don't. There is just no reason to lie to us like that. Um, yeah. I mean, another thing is just like because you know like the myocarditis. Like that there was something that didn't they didn't talk about it all yesterday. Uh, they had one question about it and they completely ducked it. I mean, so. The reality is that the, the big thing that was driving this whole thing was the TV deals and it was the money, you know, because like three weeks ago, Larry Scott said that they weren't going to play until January, right? And now here we are going to be playing football in November. So like what really changed in the last couple of weeks? Like, sure, you got those Quidel tests coming in this week, but like realistically, what really changed? Like it was the pressure from the other conferences and it was those mega TV deals. Like, w would you agree? Yeah, yeah, I, I 100% agree with that. It's teams put it, teams and players putting pressure on Larry Scott and others to get make something happen because they're just getting frustrated at this point. Something else that I saw in the reports yesterday at the conference was they announced that no fans will be allowed in any of the Pac-12 stadiums throughout the entire season, which I just found pretty crazy because – the season doesn't start for another six weeks and then seven week season. Like we don't even know where the world will be in like three months, you know? Yeah, exactly. I think we were, we were just joking about it on the pre-show that like, we're not surprised about anything anymore with the Pac-12 making decisions, but you would have assumed that like, you know, why, why make that decision right now? Right? Like the season is not for another six weeks. Like, like you just said, we have no idea what the situation is going to be in six weeks. I know some of the NFL teams and some of the college football teams have, had their fans come into the stadium. So it's so hard to really just make that 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 choice right now and just say, hey, we're not we're not doing anything. No fans, no nothing. Like I definitely think that that decision was certainly rushed. And I want to circle back to what you were talking about earlier about the seven games in seven weeks. I mean, like the schedule being like that just leaves zero room for error, right? Like we talked about it how th that that final seventh game is going to be, I think a few days before that final college football meeting where they pick, you know, they choose the four teams or whatever. So, like, if a team has to cancel one of its games in the Pac-12, like, like what's, what's going to happen, right? Like, they didn't talk about that at all, right? Like, it's already bad enough that these Pac-12 teams are playing seven games, but now if they have to cancel a game and they end up playing, you know, five or six, like, there's no there's no chance that they're going to be in the college football playoffs. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later, and we'll go more into detail. But, I mean, I think that – the possibility of a game being canceled is very much, you know, a real possibility, right? Like we've already seen it in some of the other conferences, right? Like Houston, I think had their like fourth game canceled on them this season because of the pandemic. Virginia tech hasn't even played a game yet this season because uh, teams are canceled on them. Um, I know Colorado is having some issues practicing right now. I think they can't practice for another two weeks. So like, it's definitely a little concerning to not hear about any sort of backup plan about if something bad were to go down. But at the end of the day, I mean, I do understand, like, 
you had to cram these games in, right? Like there was there was really no room to kind of start the season earlier or later, in my opinion. So I don't think there was really much they could do, but it certainly was a little concerning to hear that there wasn't sort of any backup plan. Yeah, it just stem, starts back to the higher ops just being disorganized. It's like of like about two weeks now, probably like when the Big Ten announced they were coming back, like right away, this, their schedules. All the schools like release their schedules right away, and they knew when they're playing, so they can aim towards that that school and that date. Like with the Pac-12, like it's just there's no there's not a lot of direction, as you know, like in the past few years, which has been the same case.